agriculture. So today we'll be starting the basics of the technical analysis. So before going to directly to the chart analysis, that uh, the chart is like this, candle chart is this, line chart is this, and all these things. Mm, to, before starting that one, we'd like to just uh, touch upon what are the different uh, uh, aspects are there in in the market. So different types of trading activities are there. That is, first is the fundamental analysis. Second is the technical analysis. Third is the techno fundamental analysis. And fourth is, of course, the tips uh, and the views given by some market experts. You catch it. Then yeah. uh, the fundamental analysis means uh, uh, where your uh, uh, the studies the balance sheet, studies the sales figure, profit and uh, loss statement, the projections, everything depending on that one uh, means uh, we try to find out whether the stock price is undervalued or an overvalued one. If it is an undervalued, then we try to buy that one. So that subsequently we can uh, sell it at a higher prices. So Jeta Bolchiseki, the fundamental analysis refers to the process of studying any security's intrinsic value, the objective okay. of making profits while trading in it. The primary purpose of fundamental analysis is to determine whether the security or the stock is undervalued or overvalued and thereby make an informed decision to buy, to hold, or to sell it in order to maximize the potential for a gain. Fundamental analysis is a huge, huge thing. You can have a balance sheet, regular basis, and non-stop basis. You need to go through that one and see how whether the uh, how the balance sheet is performing, the debt ratio is increasing or decreasing. Means it's a ocean, basically. And its the shortcut is the technical analysis. Technical analysis means by studying the price action. Because it is assumed that price discounts everything. Whether uh, a company is going to get a huge order, which may potentially uh, make the profitability, increase the profitability of the company to a large extent that can be captured in a technique by with the help of the technical analysis. And the technical and the fundamental analysis is not a one day affairs or an intraday purpose. It's a, it takes a lot of time, basically. Three months, six months, one year, you need to constantly wait for certain indications that whether the price is undervalued or not. Whereas for intraday purpose, you cannot take uh, uh, trading decisions with the help of the fundamental analysis. What I, what I want to mean is that for a bigger uh, perspective, means investment purpose, fundamental analysis is really help people to take a uh, correct decision. Whereas intraday purpose or a short term purpose, technical analysis helps a lot. Technical analysis, you can hear what it takes, takes the price and the volume. That means to understand the daily activity, what is going on here. And the third part is that the techno fundamental analysis, where fundamental analysis is done and short term basis that take the help of the technical analysis to take a uh, decision whether to buy or to not to buy, thereby looking for an uh, opportunity to uh, means take a um, position or not. That is the technical fundamental analysis. And other than that is the uh, your uh, tips and views. It is readily available, whether on paid basis or free of cost. Generally, friends used to give the tips. You buy karle. Um, so here we need not have to work anything. Only thing is that if you if we have the uh, means shut down that uh, tip provider, so we can uh, initiate accordingly. J means uh, here friend circle plays a bigger role, and basically 
people uh, who doesn't want to invest quality time doing the fundamental analysis or analyzing the charts hours after hours days after days they generally rely on the tips and the views given by the friends or some uh, tip providers are also there so tip providing who are uh, means professionally providing the tips there is also a big chunk of scams are there scammers are there their intention is just to earn the monthly subscriptions from you so that is not our view about uh, what the tips and providers and also that that we are not going to cover that area also uh, we are exclusively uh, focusing on the technical analysis part before going into the details we will just try to touch upon the fundamental the basics what are the things that are there here are the main principles of technical analysis means what are the the main principles depending on which the technical analysis rests on or depends on technical analysis has the three main principles and assumptions just like in physics chemistry mathematics or even in economics also some assumptions are there that depending on those assumptions we derive or deduce some interpretations correct So, in technical analysis, also there are certain principles, certain principles and assumptions. That what are they? The market discounts everything. What it means? Means whatever is happening, whether the crash will come, whether some your uh, uh, scam will come, or some good orders are coming, the company is going to multiply again, uh, going to receive some uh, government aids. or the government policies are going to support that particular sector all these things are discounted as per this principle prices move in trends and counter trends It, that means price either moves in trends and thereafter if the trend is not there then counter trends means reverses that one and the third one is the price action is repeated means price action is repeated it means in previously historically at some places some supports were there subsequently in future we expect when the price will come to that particular place that it is going to act as a support similarly some resistances suppose in past some prices or the sellers were very much active whenever those levels come sellers are selling and assuming that one in future also we expect the sellers will be present at that particular level that means whatever price actions are there they are repetitive in nature price actions is a combination of candles just like head and shoulder pattern bullish harami bearish harami being bullish engulfing bearish engulfing hammer and different types of single candle formations multiple candle formations are there they create certain assumptions and if that for pattern in past has given a certain result in future also we expect similar type of actions will take place if similar type of price action is going to form on chart so this is about the three principles so that is why i told uh, that the fundamental analysis there you need to um, study a lot continuously don't stop years after years you need to follow the balance sheet you need to follow the management group you need to follow their important uh, uh, means uh, um, meetings their important declarations everything we need to follow and that is on a regular basis and depending on the principles of the technical analysis since the price discounts everything whatever major things are happening for up move or for a down move that prices capture those activities only thing is that we need to we should be able to 
spot those areas. It would have to take a check up to this is right. Now, before starting the technical analysis part, I used to give an example about a uh, five blind men and the elephant. What is this? In the picture, you see there are five blind people. Someone is touching the tail, someone is touching the ear, someone is touching the leg, someone is touching the trunk, someone is touching the uh, this uh, uh, what is called the false tooth, someone is touching the um, belly part. What we see from their observations, the person who is touching the tail, since he is a blind man. He will tell elephant is like a rope. So whatever observation the person is having, he is right up to his observation. Similarly, someone is touching the leg part and what its description is like a pillar or it's like a tree. He is also correct as far as his observation is called there, concerned. Third person is touching the ear part and telling that it's like a fan. Fourth person is touching the uh, trunk and it is telling that it is like a snake. Fifth person is touching the uh, false tooth and it is telling that it's like a spear. Although elephant description, if we can see from neutral view, we know it's an animal, the figure is like this. But with these five people's limited observation, the person on the behind, they cannot see what the person, other persons are observing. Similarly, similarly, the person on the top who is touching the ear cannot see what the other people are touching. So with they are limited observations, whatever they are observing and telling, up to that limit, it is correct. And what is the relevance of technical analysis in this example is that price. Price, someone is telling it will go high by Karlo. Someone is telling, nee, nee, us level pe aega tha, base do, aag band karke base do. Oi bolega, no, no, is uh, Script may buy nahi karna, sell bhi nahi karna, intajar karna hai. Koi bo laga nahi nahi, government ka kuch aane wala hai. Means everybody with their limited area of knowledge, limited area of observation, they whatever they tell, they think it is correct. But actually it is not the whole, only a part of the observations. And also what happens in technical analysis, Someone uses five minute time frame. Someone is using 30 minutes time frame or one hour time frame, someone daily time frame, someone weekly time frame or someone monthly time frame. So perspective differs or changes from time frame to time frame. In five minute chart, fluctuations may be huge if we see the same price from a monthly perspective, the volatility movie may not be that much huge. So what we see, that means whether we see from the five minute perspective or daily perspective or monthly perspective, our observation changes with respect to the time frame, like the five blind people. Anything you want to ask? So it's quite clear that uh, the, the, the concept of uh, fly blind man and the elephant. Right. Because everyone has a different perspective. Exactly. At, uh, from at different every... angles or different view. Exactly. It, it means at every point of time, there is a, some buyer and there are some sellers. Who is buying? He is expecting that the price will move higher. At the same point of time, who is selling, he expects that this is the high and I should book the profit 
if the person has already bought it earlier or he wants to sell it fresh so that in future if it comes down he can book it at lower prices so at each and every price there are buyers versus the sellers only thing is that who is right or who is wrong depends on time only time will say that the buyer is correct taken the right decision or the seller is taken the right decisions so this is about the just an overview about the technical analysis market whenever we do the um, trading decisions we can take the help of fundamental analysis we can take the help of technical analysis or we can take the view of the um, some experts so that we can blindly follow them here our main perspective is technical analysis in technical analysis up to this is clear then i'm now going to the uh, uh, chart parts now i'll be going to the chart part but acha before telling you the chart part i'll tell you how to find these charts initially at free of cost initially at free of cost you will be getting at tradingview.com it's a partially free and partially paid one partially free means <clears throat> here up to three indicators you can use it at free of cost price with three indicators so here what you need to do you need to go to tradingview.com sign in with your email id thereafter you will be getting this type of things here you need to get, come to the chart part when you click to the chart part it will be like this here some watch list will be there you can create the watch list for the free version there is a limitation for a uh, paid version also different categories are there pro pro plus all these things all the things that how many more you can do here at free initially i'll tell you to use the free versions when you really play with the money and if you think you need the higher versions then some generally during the black friday in i think october november there is a black friday event in us at that time 50 60% discounts this Um, platform is available by 22 or 23000 annual subscriptions you may be getting but as of now you don't need any paid platforms and also there are different discount brokers like zerodha trade genie fires if you create that uh, trading account with them charts are readily available they are also just like i'll show you one more this is the fires you are also you will be getting along with them different uh, chart patterns that is also free of cost so now here in trading view you can create the watch list thereby suppose i have a watch list of this say here i have different uh, scripts to 227 if i need to add something i need to click it here if i click it here i need to write it say tata chemicals tata it's a global platform means uh, other us market and all every market pricing will be available only thing is that whether it is a live pricing or a delayed pricing depending on the facility the platform is giving at the moment just how to approach that one so say, suppose i want to add tata chemicals nsc and bsc two different exchanges are there nsc is already added so suppose i want to add bsc i click it here it comes here the moment i click i come i get this type of things so this is about the basic now before 
discussing the different parameters how to use the chart i would like to discuss the different types of charts then the functional part of the platform i'll discuss subsequently now what is chart means it's the visual representation of any script depending on the time frame here you will see 3 minute 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute 30 minute 30 75 minutes 1 hour 4 hour daily weekly monthly depending on that one if i click on monthly one candle these are called the candles i'll come come to that in details this candle comprises of the month of november if i come to this candle this candle comes to the month of june previous candle month of may that means the entire may month one month activity is captured here if i click it to the weekly then each candle represents one week activity from monday to friday here it is written 17th april so 17th april is monday definitely if i am not wrong let me check yes 17th april is monday till 21st april whatever activities has taken place here in this instrument it is captured here instead of tata chemicals i can click something else say ongc ongc 17th april this is the activity weekly activity if i put the reliance on 17th april 17th april that entire week this is the activity this much activity visual representations if i click it daily so in a day what are the different activities has captured it has opened at a certain level moved high to a certain level moved low to a certain level and closed to a certain level similarly if i put hourly each candle represents the movement of one hour price action if i put it 15 minutes each candle represents 15 minutes activities if i capture 5 minutes each candle captures the activities of 5 minute of that particular script up to this is clear yes sir that is quite clear <laughs> now it making sense that uh, these charts are for like say 3 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes previously i was unable to understand like what are the charts like so now i am able to understand basics this is just the simplest of the technical analysis i am uh, discussing it here not the, not the strategies now this is called candle chart analysis but earlier say 50 years ago 100 years ago we used to get only the line charts this is called a line chart means what earlier computer was not there information was not there only thing is that the closing price the traders or the dealers stock price uh, who used to trade they used to capture that one and used to do draw the line chart what this line chart depicts means if i say this one is 8 march 2023 from 8 march the price was set 2223 if you see here on the right side corner price is there then gradually it got sold off on a daily basis then came to what is the price this is 2000 212 from there again moved higher to 2277 then to this level what is this 2207 then again moved higher means it's only a graphical representation of the daily closing price of reliance shares if i say 
without this chart, if I say 8 March ko Reliance ka price jo tha, wo tha 2,223, then 13th March ko 2,289.75, 20th March ko 2,209, then 22nd March ko 2,278, and so on. If I simply tell the numbers, it's very difficult to understand what is happening in this script. But if you see the line chart, at least it is giving the preliminary idea. Preliminary idea, what is this? A price, how it is moving, whether it is moving down or sideways or moving higher. Better representation than just telling the number. Am I correct? Yes, I'm correct. Now, this is like one dimension. This will finish in 10 minutes. Again, I will record. Okay. So, um, this is one dimensional experience. Then comes our bar chart. Bar chart, same. Here, it is capturing open, high, low, and close. But the presentation is like this. Here, earlier on the line chart, only the closing values are there. Means on 8th March, kya hua thai? The line chart will not tell. Only it will tell, na 8th March ko close there 2,223. 26th April ko kya hua tha? Only giving the closing price. No other information in line chart. But in bar chart, it is giving better representations. Here, what is the low? Which you see, like this. Blue color means the bullish candle. Red color is the bearish candle. Colors we can change depending on our choice and preferences. We can make it any color of our choice. Only thing is that we have to click. We have to go in place of this sky color. I can make it red. And this pink color, I can make it a little bit bricky. Color I can change. So color doesn't matter. Only thing is that what it is, we need to understand. Now here, the information is a little more. Here, a low price is there, open. If you see on the top, this part, here, it is showing O, H, L, and C. And that means open, high, low, and close. If I place the cursor anywhere in on any can or uh, any bar, this is called the bar chart. Then if we look at the top, O, O is 2274.90. Yani opened at this price. H, H means high. After opening here at 2274 during the day, since the time frame is daily. But during the day, it traded high of 2352, low of 2270, and closed at 2341. Here, the information is little more open either hua, low itna mara, high itna mara, close either hua. Color tells whether it is a bullish candle, you know, buyers are more than the sellers, or if it is a red color, it says that the sellers are more open high, close low. This is the bar chart. Then comes this is two dimensional representations. Then comes your candle chart. It's visual representation is little different, better. What do you say? If it is line chart, it is looking like this, one dimensional. If it is bar chart, it is like this, it's two dimensional. If it is candle chart, it is three dimensional. Means here, the box part, candle part, here it is. The, if it is a green, then it is a blue, uh, means the bullish candle. If it is a red, it is a bearish candle. Low side is the open. And this week is there. So that is called the week. 
that is the lower wing or the lower shadow, upper wing or the upper shadow. Here it is open, here it is closed. This is the high and this is the low. I will expand it a little more. Now you see, the presentation is a little clear. Open here, if we keep the cursor here, already it is there open 2274. Here it is open, close here. High is a little bit, like the Diwali Pataka Port, Sutli Rata, something like this, that is called the wicks. Ya Mombati me wicks Rata, something like this. Niche, Yatakaya, Upper me Yatakaya. Similarly, again, red head open Upper Hua, close Niche. Ye low mara, ye high mara. Means visual representation is much superior. So, this is about different types of charts, or which charts say. Different upka Ikanashi charts, Renko charts, line break charts, Kagi charts, point figure charts. Different charts are there, but that is not in our purview. We will mainly take the help of the candle charts. At times, we will take the help of the line charts to clear, understand, clearly understand the direction, whether it is moving higher or moving lower, trend is high or trend is low or trend is sideways. Otherwise, mainly we will work on the candle charts. Up to this is clear? Yes, other quite clear because these things were like very messy for me before mm -hmm. I started, but you have explained it in like a layman's work. Too easy to understand now. So what I feel is that uh, it's very good. The thing which the way which you are explaining. Now, we'll come to the different components of a candle. Here we have four different components. One is open, another one is close, then high and low. These are the four components we need to understand. When market is bullish, open is lower, close is higher. When market is bearish, yani during the, that particular time frame, sellers are more on a red candle, then open is higher, close is lower. Now, this is open and here, your this is open, this part is open. Then close part is for bullish candle, this is the close, and for bearish candle, this is the close. High is same for both the two, and low is same for the both the two. Only thing is that open and close ka location change ho jata hai depending on bullish candle or a bearish candle.
So this is clear? Yes, that's clear, quite clear. Okay. Uh, now my recording time will come down. I will just again send you another another link. So this is the part one. Sending you the link again, once again. So here, the candle part, depending on whether you're taking the daily time frame or hourly time frame or monthly time frame, depending on the path minute, 15 minutes, whatever is there, it describes this much information. Now, 